Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. A staunch member of this present regime or this present dispensation had used one of his uh, social media handle to, you know, encourage this, this government over everything they were doing. In fact, he even went further to say cyber but till 2023 while nigerians are complaining that this issue of insecurity should be dealt with you know appropriately well as we speak um his own uh, family members were also adopted during the last term um, during this last term um, kidnap that took place in katsina the hometown of the president well as we speak there are waves and waves of protests going on in uh, Casino State. But before we go into the newspaper to find out what is going on and if there's going to be hope in sight anytime soon, we'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you'll see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Well, a wave of protests has continued to rock Kankara town from where suspected bandits adopted an unidentified number of students at the government science secondary school on Friday night. A cross-section of women and youth from Kankara took to the street on Sunday morning, demanding immediate release of their children, even as the coalition of northern groups has threatened to mobilize Katsina residents on continuous street protests if government fails to secure the release of these people in due course. Failure of the government to rescue these guys within the shortest period of time, the coalition of northern groups will not hesitate to mobilize hundreds of thousands on the streets of Katsina State for a continuous protest until they are fully rescued, even if it's going to cost our lives, the group said on Sunday at a press conference in Katsina State. The group's Northwest co coordinator, Jamilu Charachi said some 400 of the students were feared missing after the bandit attack a development he described as the high point of inability of the state government to handle the dis disabling challenges that include dwindling economy rising poverty and more worrying a crippling security situation that has taken a huge toll on lives and property the community Combination of these security challenges has, for the past few years, turned to the entire state, turned the entire state into a house of horror, with violent killings reports on daily basis. Communities displaced with formal and informal IDP camps spreading all over the state. The deafening silence in the state to our people suffering is not only morally wrong, but it nourishes and validates and perpetuates the feelings of our political leaders. We owe it to our future generation to continue to act within the ambit of law in the hope that things will change for better. The group equally accused the president, Mohamed Buhari led federal government of failure in discharging its primary responsibility of protecting lives and property of the people. Bandits report, reportedly attacked the school at about 10.30 p.m. on Friday, hours after Buhari arrived his home state on a private visit. Governor Minu Bello Masari, who visited the school and received a briefing from the principal on Saturday morning, said he could not ascertain the exact number of students. Kakana, Kankara is among the eight of the 34 local government areas in the state reported to be under the control of bandits, cattle rustlers, and kidnappers. A part of measures to check the menace of this attack by the whole of the Nigerian army in June 2020 raised a special squad operation Sahel Saniti with headquarters at Faskari, a border community between Katsina and the equally troubled state of Zamfara. Mm. This is really, really sad, honestly. For how long are we going to continue this? This is, um, uh, this is, Nigeria is such a sad state. And a lot of Nigerians have started complaining just um, some hours ago. Uh, South East had to open, or rather, imagine them, they cannot have to open their own security network too, because the way things are going, really, uh, our economy is dwindling, it's insecurity everywhere, poverty on the hike, uh, COVID 19 diseases everywhere, kidnapping is not the order of day, order of the day. We can't even hold our leaders accountable. These are not things we bargained for. Look at this. Oh dear, this is. We keep, can we ever hear good news coming from Nigeria? Do we really? Ah, Nigerians have been glamouring for a whole lot of persons. Have been saying, look, why not amend the constitution and restructure and let every state, you know, guard their borders, the interstate, let it be properly guarded. Let um, 
there be regional security outfit and let there be community outfit community policing let there be such that even if okay let's say for instance now they move in through zamfara if um Kassina is really up and running with security outfit they can't be they'll be able to block them these guys are they are on the increase uh, the question is we are more than over 200 million nigerians how many are our military how many are our soldiers how many are our, our police is can they contain it and remember just barely a year ago the president gave visa on arrival for any african country that can just come in visa on arrival on a country that is overpopulated do we have the world with that do we, do we have the basic amenity to cater for them are you saying visa and ever while other countries other neighboring countries other african countries are blocking and and you know stopping their border fairly recently um one of the immigration exams they wrote uh, they, they had to profile about two guys who came to write immigration exams for recruitment they were not even nigerians on you know after profiling them, they found that they were one was a cameroonian the other one was um i think a, a, a niji or so two you ask the question they have lived so comfortably in nigeria that they're even taking the jobs for Nigerians. Now imagine if these guys, these are the ones they caught. What about the ones who have successfully infiltrated? For them to even have the guts to write the exams and to want to infiltrate as Nigerians, that means one or two persons have already infiltrated and have given them the nod to go ahead to try that is going to help him out or help them out. How many Nigerians, how many people are occupying themselves as Nigerians that are actually non Nigerians? Taking the slots meant for Nigerians. If they were not caught, they would have entered as immigration uh, uh, officers, Im immigration uh, custom officers, and at the end of the day, when they see their brothers coming in, they will off their eyes, and they allow their own fellow brothers that are not Nigerians to come into Nigeria freely, taking our jobs. Who even knows? Look, our I don't know how we got to this level. Honestly, I really do not know. But Nigeria really needs help. I do not know if this continues this way. I'm afraid even fellow Nigerians will may begin to think of securing their lives. How can people go to school and they're not sure if they're going to come back? Why wouldn't they complain? Why should it even be bribing and paying them salaries? Why should the farmers begin to pay tax, tax, tax to people simply because they need to take what belongs to them? How did we get to this level? One of the cardinal rules of every leader rules of engagement is that you must protect both lives and property honestly no let's leave propaganda let's leave sentiment let's leave blame game nigeria needs help however we got here let there be some sort of upholding and this is just one of the many issues all over the country well it looks like to, to a great extent that the president is from the north and most of the things are happening from the north so that it doesn't look as if he's from the south and they are saying southerners don't want to uh, they're keeping quiet so that things should happen to, to, to the northerners it's good that it's from the north and this the president is also and the government is actually in northern government so so to speak it's okay so that they can cry to their brothers and let's see how generally there will be peace in the whole land that's what we're gonna wrap it up let's move to that conversation what's the take